What's up, new tubers? It is your boy, Brando, and today we have a lot of Call of Duty news to cover. Between Black Ops 4 news and all the news about Blackout, different perks, uh, little video teases that we've been getting from Treyarch, we have a ton to get through today. It's going to be a really good video, so hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully you uh, definitely uh, subscribe to this channel because you guys are going to get a shit ton of info today. And without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. Alright guys, in case you guys lived under a rock, the back cover of Black Ops 4 box art revealed says we need 100 gigabytes space required for the PS4. Uh, on the screen you guys see the back images of Black Ops 4. It's showing you different players and that internet is uh, needed for Black Ops 4 as well. So, a big shout out to CooperCox315 over on Twitter. He sent these messages out. He even sent them to Charlie uh, Intel. And he says, as the retailers around the world are starting to get marketing materials and more for the game as October 12th launches approaches, a lot of Black Ops 4 box art is going to be leaked out. Like I said before, guys, the back cover image reveals that there's 100 gigabyte space required for Call of Duty Black Ops 4, which includes day one updates and some post-launch content, although it's not clear yet what content is uh, available for day one. Uh, the file size for Xbox One is listed as 42 gigabytes on the Xbox One store as of now. So we shall learn more about this update because PS4 is listing as a 100 gigabytes. So it's going to be interesting to see how big the game is on day one. And we shall find out in nine more days. Early this morning, Bondahar was tweeting out on his Twitter and he reveals new settings in Blackout, allowing press to pick up the loop. Now, you guys know, arguably the top complaint during Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout Beta was that it felt weather unintuitive and clunky to hold the action button for every loot item on the ground. The ability to set the loot pickup action or press or hold has been added to the internal build of Black Ops 4. While the feature still needs to go through the normal testing procedures, it's unlikely uh, what we'll see at the launch, if not soon after. Um, Vondahar says on his tweet, Sir David Young and the team have created this peace offering. It still needs to go through the normal quality assurance and integration steps, but as soon as possible, I promise. Just don't yell at me when you turn this on, but can't reload after a hot drop. Now, although it appears Vaughn still stands by his original decision that such a feature will cause troubles for the player, as he explained during the beta. He also tweeted out, reloading, weapon switching, and other Call of Duty face button staples will not be sacrificed for equipping items or adding to the inventory, but we will certainly be sure that it is the fastest, aka shortest, possible hold press we can possibly do in Black Ops 4. So, hopefully it looks like they're going to do a setting where you can automatically pick up things, or if you just barely tap the square, you'll be able to pick up things too. And that way, um, you could also maybe do a harder tap or a slider tap. I know this is all complicated for Black Ops 4. But one of the adjustments of Square is going to be with reloading and also one of the adjustments is going to be with uh, picking up items. So it's going to be interesting to see how they do this in multiplayer and uh, blackout mode as well. But uh, like we already know Vondahar is working steadily hard on blackout and he's always trying to improve it. He said it's a living, breathing thing and I can't wait to see what he does next with blackout as well. So moving on to the next subject. Now the game UK has put up the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Black Ops Pass for standalone purchase and has listed the pass for a price of £39.99, which is equivalent to $49.99 in US terms uh, when it becomes available standalone starting October 12th. Now we all know that Gaming UK has leaked stuff before and they have been correct and it looks like the Black Ops Pass is going to be available standalone for Black Ops 4. So the price of $49.99 means a digital deluxe edition is the best edition of Black Ops 4 to buy if you're planning on getting the pass. The digital deluxe includes the game plus the pass for $99, which will be $10 less than buying them both together. Remember, the Black Ops pass will include classified zombies map at launch, uh, 12 multiplayer maps plus the four remastered, uh, four additional zombies experiences, and four exclusive Black Ops characters but we're, it's unknown what the four exclusive Blackout characters are going to be. But obviously it should be good. If you guys didn't know, you can already buy characters at GameStop, Target, Walmart. These little McFarlane toys 
you can buy these that are Call of Duty Blackout and you'll also get a code with them where you can download their skin as well. And each of these figurines are about $20. So it's going to be interesting to see which one of those that are for sale of those four we're going to get for uh, buying the Blackout Pass. So it's going to be interesting. Now the juiciest part of this video is right here. So there allegedly was two new perks for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 revealed and they were saying that it has been leaked. Well, it looks like according to Glitching Queen that this uh, little perks that we just saw on the screen has been deemed fake. Um, it's been uh, unavailable to uh, been verified. A lot of information of this has been photoshopped. But originally, the uh, images were supposedly Spanish versions of Black Ops 4. This was uh, leaked originally by Charlie Intel, and they couldn't figure out whether or not it was real or not. So they uh, translated these two perks in Google, and the first one allegedly was supposed to have been Engineer, which detects score streaks and enemy equipment through the walls, and the other one that you guys saw on the screen was Medic. It was supposed to recover health over time by not receiving damage, but you lose the ability to heal yourself manually. Um, but uh, Charlie Intel came back, revealed that this was fake. The source was unable to confirm whether or not this was real or not. And Glitching Queen was able to verify through her voodoo magic that this image was definitely photoshopped and it's not been real taken from the game. So, so far, all we've gotten from the game so far is the back cover art that obviously is real. But we haven't been able to figure out what new perks and what different things that are in the game yet but we shall see hopefully we get a classified trailer soon or maybe a, a new uh, blood of the dead trailer coming soon unpunk over on twitter confirmed that we should have a new blood of the dead trailer by tuesday we'll see what he says um, we'll see what we uh, find out on tuesday today is wednesday so it's interesting to see what black ops 4 will release tomorrow in terms of a trailer they've been advertising on all their social medias the little uh, video teases they did um, Jungle Today earlier. T actually, uh, just recently, they advertised that as well. And they also uh, did an earlier map as well. So, all right, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Sorry about the spamming of the little uh, images here and there, but I want to cover the news as fast as possible, in depth as possible. Uh, if you guys don't want to watch the video, definitely uh, watch uh, Call of Duty Underground. I'm a big component of that Facebook page. I post there daily. Any news that comes out of the Call of Duty world, I post on that page first. You guys can get to that news the quickest, or you can go over to my clan page over at Fatal Gaming um, on Facebook.com. Definitely check that page out as well. That is connected to the Call of Duty community page along with the Call of Duty Zombies community page as well, where I drop the latest and greatest news before I can put it in a video. So, all right, guys, like I said, that's all I have for you today. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit the notification button so you guys never miss any uploads about Call of Duty and anything else in the Call of Duty world. All right, squids, until the next video, headbutt your mom.